Hey, what's going on, people? My name is Jane, and we're welcome to another Nerf review. Where today we doing a product review. Well, it's not going to be Nerf. Well, it's still Nerf based, but it's not going to be a Nerf blaster review because otherwise, I'd be standing up, you'd be seeing the rest of my shirt. Yes, I'm wearing long sleeves because it's going to get cold out. And uh, yeah, today, as you can see by the actual this, the title, it's going to be review the well, the chop stock and the twin slice, which is which goes along with the scavenger blaster, which did come out before this. And yes, I'm actually reviewing this before I do the scavenger blaster. And yes, I do have the scavenger blaster. So, uh, yeah, it's just like something I find out. It's just a product thing. So, uh, yeah. Uh, with this, I, I mean, these two are sold individually for uh, around $14. Uh, so yeah, you have to buy these separately. So uh, yeah, if you're buying them together, they're all over like forty something, like close to thirty dollars, and nobody actually wants to spend thirty dollars on a foam article. Actually, these aren't actually one percent of foam, as you see. Yeah, which is what I'll talk about a bit. But setting off the twin slice, uh, the twin slice is basically I just noticed it's basically like two circular saws uh, that you see in wood shop just put together because well. This will be like the the, the circular saw you you cut a piece of wood, but yeah, uh, these are just foam discs. Now I don't take these two out just so you see. The product comes with this, the holder, and two foam discs. But this is 100% plastic, so if you do skin around and smack on somebody, because you can attach this to a natural nerf plastic by here, the tack wheel, if you want to attach it out top, but. It's meant to go under the bottom of the scavenger where you have the tap light. But yeah, this is basically just plastic. Now if you hit somebody, yeah, you, you can bruise somebody, you probably even max blood in somebody or knock somebody out. And when you do get this out of package, it comes separate, the halves come separate. Like, like, you, like if you see this part here, this part isn't attached. So, you, so when you do get this, you just have to kind of push them together because it's for packaging, for shipping purposes. So uh, yeah, now the paint, the paint for both the twin slice and the chop stock are consistent with the scavenger, which I do have and I do plan on reviewing. But I'm just trying to get stuff out and yeah, you know, I wish I bang and stuff. But it, I do really like the color because it's red orange thing. I, as you guys all know, I do love the color red, which is why my uh, role, which is why my uh, YouTube avatar is mostly red, probably because it's Iron Man based. So uh, yeah, this is. You take a look at the actual detailing on this. Very fine detail. I mean, you do have the chain that you would see on a circular saw, but obviously you won't see a chain because this whole thing would be covered by like a chunk of metal to rent your fingers from getting caught. But yeah, you have like a speed, you have a dial back here to just the speed of the blade thing. I'm pretty sure this, it really looks like it just made in a shop, but I'm pretty sure this is just like part just thrown together. So, uh, yeah, pretty sure just two circular saws kind of like welded together. But yeah, I'm pretty sure the whole goal was just like like that. But because why else would there be a chain? Like drive like, like chainsaw chain for it. And uh, yeah, there'd be a hole. But it's designed to actually resemble like spinning stuff. Because as you see, you do have textures in here. But uh, it's really hard because you got the red, the orange. But yeah, once you get it. You do see you do have cogs in here that can like spin the actual like ridges in here. Yeah, bit ridges right in here, and I don't know if a light can hit it, but uh, yeah, there, there's like a small cog in there. But yeah, it's this is designed to show that it spins. And again, uh, yeah, it's just twin slice right here. Yeah, I know red. It makes kind of makes it harder to see, but yeah. I don't know about you guys, but in a zombie apocalypse, I don't want to be seen. But again, we don't really know about zombies. Because zombies are from zombie movies. They're basically just walking on. They smell humans. They come after it. But they're not just focusing on the line of sight. They, they hunt humans based on noise. And stuff. But yeah. This is two circular saws. I don't think you can throw circular saws. And you're just like launching them like that. But spinning, I think you just get close and just kind of swing it. So that's, but that's the whole purpose of the chop stuck. But yeah, these two are... Uh, two foam circular blades. Well, oh, so this supposed to represent razor blades. 
and you see a circular saw and if you do get if you do have a circular saw in the house I do not recommend you handling the blade like how I'm doing it because one this is foam the circular saw is 100% steel and the, the teeth which is what the jagged things are are actually sharp on the actual like circular saw and it will cut your finger off it tends to cut wood like you take a circular saw and just drag on wood just like slowly it'll tr it'll cut the wood off but uh yeah and see on, on the disc it says so it's nice and yes these are foam so yeah it's not really gonna hurt much but it's all it's not gonna hurt as a nerf blast but it's all how the user it those because you take it out chuck it like a frisbee so there is no way that you chronograph this because it's just how accurate you are at thumb because you can curve it every sort every certain way it's like razor blade with ninjas so, but yeah, if you throw it like that, it, it's like throwing a frisbee. I keep repeating that. It's like throwing a frisbee. So you can curve it around if you're really good. But yeah, depends on how you throw it. But yeah, it says twin size and there's an uh, obviously nerf one. But if you spin around the back, uh, you will see that it says the caution ones in like very different languages. Like it says cuidado, attention, precaution. And I, I think one of these ideas is. I think that ten attention is attention is actually like French. The top one is either Portuguese. And the big question is uh no the the cuidado is Spanish and the precaution is uh a uh, Portuguese something like that. I think I don't know I don't know Portuguese, but yeah. As you can see, you do have the Zombie Strike logo as well as like tick marks, like claw marks here. Please, it's like the tick marks are like counting up to five or something. I don't know, probably for kills or something. I don't know why you want to engrave a razor blade, but yeah, you can just hurl this. I'm not gonna throw it anywhere because, well, that's not the whole purpose of this, but uh, yeah, like as you can just put this in, but it really, but really doesn't matter. I prefer to have this pointed forward because, well. I'm just that's just me, but uh, yeah, it's 24. You, you can spin in here, but the whole purpose is to take it out and, and hurl like a frisbee. But uh, yeah, you, you can actually put a nerve blaster. I do have the strife here, so uh, yeah, you can just attach it to a nerve blaster. It's just on tackle rail, but uh, yeah, but it doesn't actually fit on perfectly because you do have the little bump back here, so yeah, it fits perfectly on a scavenger. I, I've done it, but uh, yeah. This fits back here, and uh, yeah, you can see it's like incredibly terrifying to see this. But yeah, you go, you can just take it and throw it because obviously your, your dominant hand is going to be on the trigger, so you won't be able to use that. So, I'm on dexterity use with the left hand, so yeah, it takes skill for the actual this. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to be taking this off, putting this off to the side. Now, coming in the actual like the chop stock. And I will warn you, again, both of these toys will cause some bodily harm if you do swing at it hard enough. You know, if you're kind of like above 13, obviously you'd be swinging with a lot greater force than people under 13. So uh, yeah, this is a chop stock. Now, this is supposed to be from Axe, but this is in a chapter form. But uh, yeah, you stand out. And I was telling you the detail, you do see it's wrapped like all the other like zombie shark blasters so it puts in a garage but yeah you got an axe axe thing you got a back of the axe uh, i've actually never picked up an axe uh, but i'm pretty sure this is what it looks like but uh yeah this is stock pushing attached to the back of the blaster so you can just do the halo melee kill you swing that like that which i'll demonstrate with the strife but yeah thing is you can extend this in for the actual stock land depending on how short or long your arms are but uh yeah i'll show why i don't i don't extend it all the way because this is the full extended one so you can actually use it as a full blown axe so you can actually swing it using melee but i will be percussion you this the only the gray part actually light gray part right here and here are the only foam parts on this actual melee toy it's not like the the foam machete which is 100% foam. So if you were hitting somebody, like the only foam part is gonna bend. Whereas if you were to hit somebody with the machete or, or the foam machete, the whole thing will flex. Whereas this, 
it, it'll hurt more than if you were to get hit than if you were to get hit by one of these because this thing will actually bend but yeah because obviously you're not swinging at somebody while holding this you're throwing this but uh yeah if you are swinging this around yeah it'll kind of bend but yeah this is this whole thing everything else besides these two light gray parts are plastic so uh you're actually hitting something i'm actually hitting my table but if you're hit with this but yeah it still hurts a lot but uh, yeah it's up to the person but i don't recommend you going full force because you can still bludgeon somebody which is beating somebody to death with a nine sharp object but uh yeah we're gonna check that there's three positions the fully out position the medium and it actually locks so yeah even if i smacked it won't actually retract in the closed position for for kids with short arms but uh, yeah it says zombie strike the zombie strike logo right here and you do have the stock thing but uh, yeah we're sending it out to the mid length and putting it on the actual strife now apparently it doesn't actually fit on this but uh strife is the only one i have within reach but uh yeah I, I have this on the actual middle range and in a strife it's already considered a bit too a bit long for me and I'm a 21 year old guy it's it's pretty it's pretty long now sending well sending it all the way and printing doesn't lock because this is designed to be a scavenger which I'll talk about a little bit but uh, yeah this is actually really long kind of bit too much because I'm kind of straining my actual biceps and my actual arms but uh, yeah the things in this is actually perfect very comfortable so you've got three positions for all you uh, younger kids you can just put it like that but putting it out on the middle one you can actually just swing this out like that because you gotta make the big part of it actually it's like chop something kind of like a halo swing like that but uh yeah now what the scavenger? Uh, you you know, but if you see other reviewers, it's an ash upside down stock point right here. So you have the notch is up there, but which means you put it stock like that. But you, which means you put you put the stock upside down. But it's for compatibility because the scavenger has an angled like stock attachment point, which I'll go over when I do the scavenger review. But uh, yeah, but yeah. When you melee, you be hit with the smaller part, which bigger surface area, more more places of con, more contact with that. I just burped. Ugh, see me. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna strife off to the side. And uh, yeah, these again, yes, I do not recommend you going full force with this because this that will hurt you if you hit something with either this and you push forward and you have that like just just kind of smacking lightly. But uh, this this will hurt a lot more than just well, obviously it's done because competitive nerfers will hit something like if you have this with the strife, if you were to put this on like that and swing like that, this is plastic hitting you in the face. It'll hurt a lot more than hitting you with a little bit of a foam, but otherwise it's not 100% foam. There's still a layer of plastic underneath the actual like axe part. But uh, yeah, you. Like, I don't, when you're fighting with an axe, like, I don't know about you, but if I, from what I see from Infinity War, Thor uses an axe, but obviously he swings. But if you get close, you can push something back with the top of the axe. So if I want to push the camera back, I just push, just push back, and then give me more room more to, to chop you. Hence, chop stock. Because this is an axe, you, you're supposed to chop stuff. And it's also a stock too, but it only fits with the... It was actual like rifles, like the retaliated that I had, which I don't have with me. Oops. So, uh, yeah. That's gonna wrap it up for my actual product review. Again, these are all compatible with any Nerf glasses, except for this only apparently fits on the scavenger. So, uh, yeah. Now, it, now the product review, again, like I said, these two are sold uh, individually. So, if you want to. If one, if one option, if you just want to buy this, you can. If you just want to buy that, yes. To both under under four, well, around fourteen dollars. I don't know the exact price, price point for this, but yeah, it's a good, very good addition. If you already have a scavenger blast, I would highly recommend you get this because you can upgrade it. You can take out a stock if you really don't like a stock on the scavenger blast, or 
if you don't like the tack light on it, you can just put this where the tack light is and just kind of that. But I've, again, I warn you, you do not want to be swinging this part because this on the blaster, you don't want to be swinging that because that hitting somebody is 100% plastic. That will hurt. It probably cause somebody to bleed or lose an eye. Again, for safety purposes, again, it's my safety, uh, safety part of the video. These are not 100% safe. Well, country and nerf, depending on how big you are. Now, if I were to smack somebody, even with a foam nerf toy, at full force going up against 13 year old, I'd probably kill, either knock them out or give them a concussion because I'm a bigger guy. So, all, with all these nerf products, please be careful with actually what you're, or where you're hitting them. Well, the darts, yeah, they don't really hurt much for the melee toys. Be respectful of the force that you're swinging them because you may cause bodily harm, especially with these because they're designed to be melee. Well, this one is designed to be a melee toy. This one is the foam part is designed to be a throwing. So, yeah, that's enough for my PSA. I'm just wrapping this in my video. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, be sure to hit that subscribe button as 99% of my viewers aren't actually subscribers. And yes, I can see that in my uh, analytics and my demographics on my, on my YouTube channel. Oh, uh, YouTube studio. So uh, yeah, it, again, I was your new subscribers and maybe 1K, uh, 1,000 subscribers, I may do a house tour depending on the availability of the house. So, uh, yeah, anyways, thanks so much for watching and fly her